there any Jesus lovers in the building tonight? <laughs> no, really, are there any Jesus lovers in the building? Can you just raise your hands and raise your voice and say, Jesus, I really do love you. amazing song and if you like to learn to play these types of songs on the piano then go ahead um if you vibe with the teaching style and you feel like you can, you can rock with me with this video uh then you may be a great candidate to to sign up for my website so check that out we have tons of videos like this to help you get to the next level and learn how to play gospel piano so what i want to do is this song we're going to teach you the intro today and you're only going to need believe it or not three chords you're going to need a c chord you're gonna need a B flat chord, and you're gonna need an F chord. Now what we're gonna do with that C chord is we're gonna play that in an inversion. So that means we're gonna put the C up top. And then for the B flat chord, which is this, we're gonna put the B flat on top. And then for our F chord, which is this, we're gonna play that using what's called an extension. So instead of playing an F chord, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an E there, and that adds an additional note. 
This is not an inversion. This isn't moving notes around per se. This is adding an additional note to the F chord. Okay, called an extension. The other chord, the, the last type of chord I'll need, I, I just remembered, um, there's one more chord you're gonna need and that's a, called a sus voicing. It's a sus four. So it's gonna be F, B flat, C. And you also need to realize that you can put this F up top and have the same thing. So I want you to listen to the how the intro goes and then I'm gonna show you how to play it. Okay, so for that for that beginning part, we have um, and then and then the second time we have this. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna have here is we're gonna have this first chord here which is a, I'm gonna give you the notes first. So that's gonna be E, G, C, D, G, C. And then we're gonna have this chord. D, B flat, C, B flat, um, F, B flat. And then play that again. C, A, C, E, A. And then Right. All right. So this is just an F, D, G, B flat, D, G, and then I remember I told you about that F major seven chord. F, E, A, E, A. Now the reason I said this is four chords is because I need you to understand. Um, if you understand what chords these are, you can make your own improv and you can do so many different things. And you could, when you're wondering how the musicians are coming up with, with crazy ideas, it's all, you always need to know where the chords are coming from. So this chord here, this is a C chord. So I could actually go like this. See, this is just a C chord. But because a melody goes like this, So it's still a C chord, but I have to put the C on top since that's what the melody wants to do. So it's still a C chord. And then, so here's my C chord, B flat chord, B flat chord, F chord, C chord, F chord. They're just simple chords. But what we've done here is we, what we did to the C chord is we added the second note. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, that's a D. So what we've done is we've taken this C chord, which is this, with the C on top, and we replace the E with the D. So this is where we get the voicing from. It's still a C chord, but notes are moved around and the D is added. This is a C chord. This the same, we did the same thing with the B flat chord. This is a B flat chord. The second note is a C. So what we did is we put the B flat on top and we changed the third note to the second note and we used the B flat and a D in our left hand. So here's our first chord and then our second chord. Notice that I'm trilling from the F to the G. Okay. Now look at this chord here. This nice A minor, I like calling it an F major seven <laughs> because of the fact that we can add an F in there and it could be an implied, and that's why I, I can only make it three chords, but the F actually is not played. So you're gonna have in the left hand, you have this C, A, C, E, A. So, and then, right, the second time they go like this. Right, but I don't wanna, if, if we know where the chord is coming from, you can make up your own crazy sounding chord here instead of doing exactly what they did. So, and then they could do this. 
or um, I like that better. Okay, those are sus chords. Move the F up top, and then and then now we're gonna play it again. Let's play this part with them. See how we go. Sound good. There you go. So you have fun with the song if you're on the website. And by the way, that beginning part there, and when you go, instead of going, see that sounds nice where you have this C chord, B chord. I'm gonna teach you something here that you can do that sounds nicer than this. It goes like this. Hmm, see how that sounds? Instead of going, so this, instead of going to, from a C chord, this is an inverted C chord, and this is an inverted B flat chord. But instead of doing that, how about we change this to an F? It sounds really nice there. And if you really, you could put three notes together too. You can have this E, F, 